welcome along and welcome back to our season from scratch let's play on Felsbrun. Uh, our crops are coming along very nicely it is the last day of summer um, but as you can see from our map uh, we've got nothing that is ready to harvest yet lots and lots of stuff that is coming very close i think we're going to have a huge number of uh, of uh, of contracts uh, to be getting on with uh, over sort of the next uh, six to eight episodes. But today we are just doing our final stuff of summer. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of spraying contracts recently. And I think it's time for something different. We've, we've finally got something up uh, that we can do that is a little bit different. And that is, if we look under the missions, I've already got it highlighted. We have a 10,000... Oh, let's change that. I was going to say pounds. Uh, we are uh, here on Felsbrunn. We actually should be in euros. So we've got a 10,000 euro contract, um, which we can take on. So we're going to borrow the items for this uh, because we don't have any stuff for this. It's wrapping to silage bales as well. So we're going to borrow these items and that should be great. Um, we don't have anything else. There's a, a sewing contract. Somebody's still trying to get the potatoes in at this late stage of summer. Um, but, uh, yeah, otherwise it's all fertilizing and stuff. So we're going to take on this baling contract. And as if by magic, we have all of the equipment here in front of us. So my plan really is to try and whip around this as quickly as possible. Quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of stuff that needs doing fairly quickly. Uh, but field 30 is not a massive field. Um, but this, this actually, this Valtra is well known to us. It's a tractor that, uh, that we used a lot on the old farm countryside recently. And it's kind of the tractor that always gets used for these bailing contracts. It is reverse drivable. So uh, we are going to do that. What we're going to do then is uh, we're going to hook up the weight to the front to kind of offset the weight of our mower. Uh, so, uh, jump out, hook that up, uh, and then we're going to hook up our mower onto the back. Uh, oh, let's lift that up. Now that's better. Uh, not scraping on the ground. It looks like the farmer might have scraped it along the ground a little bit. Although, actually, I think its condition has improved since we picked it up. Now, we should be able to hook this up here like so on the back and then come around and hook this back up on the front so yeah it's going to be a nice long day lots of grass to do um we're going to sell all of this the silage bales of course will make us a little bit of money on top as well uh which is all good no nope, we need to get a little bit further back Oh, no, we can't hook it up this way around. I think we need to hook up to the tractor maybe the other way around. I think we've got this backwards at the moment. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure we've got this backwards. So we're going to have to load it, lower this down. Disconnect it. That should work, though. I'm actually slightly surprised that that hasn't. Looking at this. No, look at this. It should be uh, should be the other way around. So, we'll drop this off. So, that there. Oh, disconnect the hoses. And drop it. Right. And see if we can connect this up the other way around. I'm not so sure about this. But, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see if it works. But that's, yeah. Looking at the way the mowers are shaped. Uh, it should connect up this way as well there we go connect that connect the hoses uh, and then if we back up it should connect up to our mower here as well let's see if this works yeah there we go and that's connect up the hoses as well so fold uh no fold that up lift it fold that up oh there we go and fold that up as well. Getting the right thing selected. There we go. Right, so this is all good. Uh, we're going to get this down to our field. I'm wondering if we can get our, uh, our other tractor on Follow Me. But to be perfectly honest, we should be alright with this. 
uh, getting this done and dusted fairly quickly. Uh, we own the field next to it as well, which means we should be able to cut a huge amount of this, uh, I'm hoping. So let's unfold this. Don't know where the edge of the field is. I'm guessing... Ah, yeah, I can see the edge of the field here. It's up here. Switch over to the front. Unfold that. We will turn it all on. Uh, so we're in position. We need to get our tractor round. So I'm not sure. There we go. Switch it round. We're now looking out over the back. Turn on our first mower and drop it down. Turn on our second mower, drop it all down, and away we go. And that should give us a really, really nice cut. So going, uh, I want to go at 90 degrees, make sure that we are going straight up the field. Get as much of this as possible. Uh, and sort of give us a, a good length of where we should be. Now, we could get cause play to do this, of course. Uh, but I want to kind of get it to cut itself and uh, and get this moving. It's uh, it's a pretty big contract. It's worth 10000 um, So that should be good. Uh, the downside to this, of course, is that it's... Um, actually, yeah, that lifts the whole thing. Uh, the downside to this, of course is that it'll take uh, two to three days for these to ferment. So we're not immediately going to be able to pick all these bales up. Uh, we're going to have to we have to leave them to ferment. Now I believe that we can uh, I believe that we can actually take these uh, and we can deliver deliver them unfermented. But the downside of that is uh, that we then will get only get paid for grass bales in the excess and not the uh, the full price for silage bales, which we want. We want to be paid the maximum amount for those excess bales. So as a result, what we'll do is we will just keep going um, until we are in a position where... Uh, uh, until we are in a position where we can get the maximum amount for these silage bales that is possible. So I'm going to crack on with this field. I'm going to get it cut. Uh, and then we'll bring back the windrower and get it all rowed up. So a couple more cuts and we will have this field uh, fully mowed. Uh, yeah, looking at this, there's uh, there's less than a wit's worth of our mowers left. Uh, so that's good. Uh, this has gone pretty smoothly. It's been nice and square. It was the nice thing about uh, being on a default map like this is the fields are quite nice and square. Uh, one of the things I do like, though, is the fact that there is space on them uh, in order to expand if you want to and give them a slightly different shape, uh, as is possible with this field here. Uh, you know, you could... There's quite a way you could go towards the road. Uh, you couldn't go much higher up into the hills here, uh, but you could certainly go uh, closer to the road. Actually, I think we've got a couple of rows left here. Uh, so that's good news. That's going to be a good amount of grass off here. Uh, so it's uh, it's drier grass, but it's not hay. Uh, we do want to watch that because if we have a look at our forecast at the moment, uh, we're, we're in really good drying conditions. So we don't want to leave this too long. We want to get this rowed up uh, pretty swiftly, really. Uh, but they should be able to do this uh, pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be too much trouble. Oh, wow. We have a lot more field left than I thought we did. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I think I've got... I think I've still got another couple of strips left. Uh, looking at this. I misjudged. I actually have got three strips left. Okay, so I'm going to get this uh, finished up. Uh, and then we're going to go and get our rower. In fact, yeah, we've got about one more wits worth of this mower left. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get this finished up. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Uh, once I have got up, uh, got the wind rower and we're starting to get some rows done. Back down at the shop and we are in a position uh, where we want to put all of this down. So... Drop that one. Drop that one. And it's really weird with manual attach. You have to unfold these and drop it down in order for it to be disconnected. Uh, which is quite funny. 
uh, because otherwise normally you can't actually drop them at all uh, unless they're folded up so it's uh, an interesting uh, little change that that makes so this is the uh, uh, this is the coon there we go I think we have some cables as well no we don't that's all good then uh, we'll use this to row this up uh, this of course is a merger rather than a wind rower I think we're currently set to left uh, and my my trouble is I've never quite worked out how to change the side um, I always look for it and it doesn't quite I don't quite get it well that's not what we want to do nope it's none of those I would expect it to be one of my normal buttons, but it's uh, it's not. So we're going to unfold the merger. So it's doing it on the left, uh, which actually suits my purpose at the moment, which is fine. Uh, I would prefer to switch it, but I can't find a work, yeah, a way to switch the work mode easily. I've not I've not programmed it into my side panel, um, and it's not one of the standard uh, choices. Uh, although, looking at the screen, it's staring me in the face. Left control, Y, that does it. So, uh, we're going to keep it to the left. But it's good to know that it's left control, Y. And I have no idea why I've missed that in the past. Right, so turn it on, drop it down. And away we go. want to make sure that we get all of it. Like so. Uh, and get a nice, uh, nice row like this. Now, the reason why I've left it on the left, apart from the fact that that is currently into the field, uh, what we want to do uh, is we want to get this so that we have some nice big piles. We can bail quickly then and, uh, and, and then easily get it all sorted. And you can see here from the size of the pile on our return row uh, how quickly we should be generating bales out of this. Uh, those are going to be some huge humongous bales off this uh, oh I that's good sorry humongous rows uh, quick bales uh, which is exactly what we want exactly what we're looking for uh, so we're gonna work our way through here this is a fairly wide piece of kit uh, so I'm gonna work my way through here hopefully get this done fairly swiftly uh, and then we can go and grab ourselves the baler and get this job uh, get this job finished off well not quite finished off we're still going to have to wrap our bales after that. What I might do is I might switch tractors after this. And get the baler out on our uh, our HTZ. Uh, just so that we got uh, a little bit of variety in what we're doing uh, in this video. So at the top of the second to last row now. And as you can see, we're actually in a position where the very final row uh, is... Uh, if we were to put that out the left... Uh, that is going to, to sort of disappear off into the ether. Um, we might actually, I think there might be two rows left there uh, to, to collect up. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how uh, it does with width wise. But I think what we might end up doing is doing maybe two half rows if this won't pull the, the full width. Uh, if not, what we'll do is we'll reconfigure this so that it goes down the middle. Uh, and in fact, yeah, that is going to grab all of that grass. So let's bring up F1. Let's do what we did earlier. Control Y. Uh, and that is then we have the work mode going down the middle. Uh, which means for this final row, we should be able to get it. Oh, I'm hoping. No, not quite. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we know that we're slightly wide on the left. So what I'm going to do is change it so that it's uh, it's going to go on there ah we have to lift it to change the work mode now that's the thing so that's where i'm going to be uh, been going wrong to change the workload uh the work mode you have to have lifted your uh lifted your merger if it's not lifted uh then you can't change the work mode so that is the trick. That is the thing that I've been missing over time. So I hope that helps somebody else, actually, uh, who's been having a similar problem. That's what, if you can't change the work mode, try lifting the tool. Um, and that should do the trick for you. So, uh, yeah, so this is the last row we're doing. Uh, we should be able to do fairly, uh, fairly well. 
Uh, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, uh, and five with this row, although this row is not quite as high as the others. We'll turn this off and fold it up. So lift and fold. There we go. Uh, we'll go and return this now, and I think uh, we should be able to pull the baler uh, with our tractor. So I'm going to get the HTZ, uh, and we're going to use that to bail this up. So here we are in our, uh, I think this is, uh, somebody told me this is a big Ukrainian tractor at, at one point in the past. So uh, yeah, this is our HTZ. Um, we are heading down to the shop. It's got 240 horsepower. Our baler uh, that we've got uh, for this contract only requires uh, a horsepower of 140. So that's good. Uh, we will easily be able to pull the baler with this. So we'll hook up to this uh, like so. Uh, that has all hooked up nicely. Uh, and the maneuverability on this is fantastic. Uh, as it has been the whole way through. So we should be able to get to our field quite well. Uh, and get set up. Uh, I, really, I really have kind of fallen in love with this tractor. I've not been a big fan of articulated tractors in the past. Uh, but this one is just, it's just sort of got me going oh this is yeah <laughs> old old uh eastern european tractors right let's unfold the baler like so start it up drop it down and away we go and you can see actually we have got the stuff is drying quickly some of this has already turned some of the stuff that we hadn't piled up has already turned to hay so uh, we just got that in time. There's a few little bits of hay around the sides as well, um, and these are quite these are quite big rows. And you can see the speed with which these bales are pushing out the back. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is quite a big job for this piece of kit, but it is producing them and it is handling it. I mean, it's got a hundred more horsepower than we need, um, but it's uh, yeah, I love this tractor. This tractor is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it will take the hay into these, and these will be still classed as grass bales, uh, even with these uh, little bits of hay in it. So it's not not the end of the world that we've got. Wow, we've got flying bales. That is, that is uh, amazing. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to continue on with this. We've got four more of these to go. It's struggling up the hill a little bit, but it's going to be a lot faster going down the hill. So uh, I will see you once we've got some bales out. And we're going to see how many we've actually created. Halfway through the field and I've noticed something. We've had a couple of hay bales come out. It's It's been one of those things where we've been unlucky enough to just start a new bale with a piece of hay. And as a result, the entire bale has come out as such. Uh, that's something to watch out for on seasons if you're doing a contract like this. Watch out you don't output a couple of hay bales. Because it has happened to us. On that last row, we managed to get a couple of hay bales out. We're, we're pretty good as far as these last, uh, the last sort of three rows go. Uh, there's no hay at the edges of these uh, at the moment, thankfully. Uh, but yeah. It is, uh, that is something to watch out for doing something like this on Seasons. Sometimes it can just dry out enough so that you end up, and, and, and catches it just wrong with the baler, that you end up with a couple of hay bales in your field, which of course you then can't, um, you can't wrap those. So uh, yeah, that's, that is really intriguing. Uh, we've got a couple of hay bales kicking about. If we wanted to get some uh, horses or something, uh, we've been a good place actually at this point to because uh, we're going to have a couple of hay bales kicking about. Almost at the end of our last row and we have a really decent number of bales on here. It's going to be a bit difficult to count them up but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, lost count very, very quickly there. That is, uh, we'll have to count them actually while I'm uh, while I'm doing the wrapping in a moment, I think. But that is it. Uh, I don't think there's enough 
actually on the rest of the field. So I'm going to unload this final bale like that. Uh, there's only one final bale there to do that with. Uh, and we're going to then fold up our baler and head back down to the shop to drop this baler off. Uh, and we'll go and get our bale wrapper, which this tractor is going to be massive overkill for. Back to the field with the bale wrapper. And I'm going to start counting up bales now. Uh, yeah, we have got our two uh, hay bales that we'll need, uh, that we'll need uh, leaving at the moment. But we will sort them out. going to get these, we're going to go around, get these all wrapped up, which will be great, and, uh, and we'll sort this out, and, uh, and yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty good, actually, for us, that is, uh, that is a nice shot there, I think, so we might as well, uh, get that, drop off our bail, and move on to the next one. So that's uh, this is our second bale. I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get these wrapped up. We'll see how many bales we've got. Um, I'm uh, I'm pleased with this. We should have this done in a day. at This field. Uh, we obviously can't complete the contract as I've said for a couple of days. Uh, but certainly there is more than a single uh, a single trailer's worth here. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing well off this field. I think. So we're just finishing off wrapping our 14th bale here. We're about halfway through the field, I think. So, uh, yeah, so this will be our 15th bale we're just picking up. Uh, that's a really good number. We've, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with this. Uh, about 80% of that we need to deliver. Uh, we have, of course, got 15 plus two hay bales uh, that I've not been able to wrap. Um, but, yeah, that's a good number. There's a, it's, it's a good going on here. Uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna make a nice bit of money outside of uh, the silage uh, contract itself. Uh, if we can get up to like about twelve uh, to thirteen thousand off the, si uh, the silage contract plus what we sell the bales, that will be brilliant. I will be very, very happy with that. Um, it should, uh, what it should do at the end of this contract is actually fund the combine. Uh, because I've been thinking long and hard about what combine we're going to end up getting on here. Uh, and it's quite a tough one. Now, uh, if we have a look at the, the combines we currently have available here, I want to get, I think I want to put a class on here. And so we're looking at something like either a, uh, a, five, uh, a 540 here, uh, Lexian, which is, yeah, fairly, uh, it's not a huge combine. Um, and then I'm going up to like the 760. Now uh, the 760 with an 1100 tank, that is 16,000 to hire that, um, which is quite a layout. Now we're doing a lot of harvesting with it, and uh, and in all honesty, uh, it will be cheaper for us to hire it the, uh, overall than it will be to um, to actually buy it because we're only going to be using it for like. Uh, a maximum of eight days uh, and if we're using it for eight days we're looking at having a, a total spend of um, what eight days uh, total spend of a roughly uh, an hour a, a day so yeah about eight hours uh, 40 hours is roughly what the, the, the equivalent is in the price so it's going to be much much cheaper for us to actually do it that way um, but it is that big layout in the initial. Uh, it's about half the money we've got at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting thing. It's going to be an interesting uh, way to go. Uh, it's going to be have to be a decision. And whether I take all the harvesting contracts at the beginning or not, or take them as I can get them, uh, is going to be the other question. But I think I want to grab as many harvesting contracts as possible, and then we'll have to check where each one needs to be taken um, very carefully when we do the contract. So I'm going to get the last few remaining bales here uh, wrapped up. Um, and uh, and then I think we need to have a quick look at our animals. A uh, quick look at our chickens. Just check that they are still good. It has taken most of the day to do this baling contract. It is now half past five in game. 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's been a good day's contracting work. It's going to make it a, a decent amount of money and may actually mean that, that the hiring of our combine is, uh, is going to be uh, essentially paid for by this contract overall, uh, which would be a very good thing uh, in the long run. On to the last two bales now. Just finishing this off. It's uh, another hour's gone by in game. It's now half past six. Uh, so things are rounding out quite nicely. It's been quite a good contract in so far as, uh, as getting things cleared up and, uh, and, and getting everything done. Uh, been rather nice and neat uh, from a day's work in that respect. So uh, before we finish, what I'm going to do is just pop in to here and let's have a look at our animals uh, before we go any further. So in actual fact, our chickens are all good. We're going to have to do a little bit of work with them. Um, I'm very tempted actually just to round this video out with that. Uh, so we'll get this back to the shop uh, so that this is all done and dusted and, uh, and this is back where it should be. Um, we'll jump into our little MB track and, uh, and get our chicken sorted because, uh, to be honest, uh, it's going to be a very busy time next time with the harvest. Uh, and I don't want to be having to worry about the chickens uh, at the same time as we're worrying about getting everything moving on that harvest as well. So as we uh, pass back this way, what I'm going to do is so that I don't have to get the uh, back off the MB track, just going to hook this up here, empty the water so that we top up their water. There we go. We really didn't need the valve early on with that uh, with that Joskin sitting there. Uh, but that means uh, that the chickens now have a nice amount of water. They're getting fairly full on their eggs as well. So we may have to get a new egg pallet soon. Uh, but we'll just park this up here. And then we can jump into our MB track. And get this started. So start this up. Lift. Uh, and before we go and buy some more wheat, we're going to open up our trailer or our back. As soon as I get it. There we go. Open up the back of this. Down we go with it. And... Getting this on the floor is never that easy. There we go. Has that got all of it? Uh, yeah, so that is nice and clean. We'll just lift it up and in it goes. Level it out, close it up. And now we can put some wheat in it and, uh, and just top them up. That will make sure that they're fully fed uh, and that they're going to get through the next game day. So fill up some wheat, there we go, back round we go, I'm actually finding I'm not needing to take the care wheels off this tractor, uh, now that we've got them on there, it's uh, that's a weird, weird place to be really, uh, but yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to need a couple more um, egg pallets uh, going forwards, uh, so we can fill those up as well, uh, but this, let's open the back of this up, Flip it over, and uh, and yeah, I think that is where we're going to finish today's video. So all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.